So that is very self-evident. But if there are two more examples of what all of you should see, आप जरूर देखिए और मैंने भी पूरा देखा नहीं है एक जो हमारी नई पार्लियामेंट बिल्डिंग जब आप जाएंगे यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एक्चुअली टुडे वी आर केपेबल ऑफ बिकॉज दिस बिल्डिंग दिस पार्लियामेंट इसको दो साल के नीचे 18 19 महीने में बनाया एंड व्हेन यू सी इट आपने पिक्चर तो देखा ही होगा दिस सेकेंड इज लाइक अ ट्रेलर आई एम गिविंग यू लाइक अ प्रडिक्शन आई एम गिविंग यू When Pragati Maidan is done, please go take a look at. It. And again, I will tell you, okay, you will really be impressed by today what New India can do. So I just wanted to add those two lists, uh, two two items to his list. But uh, I came here today for a samvad, for a dialogue, and dialogue का मतलब है कि my bhashan should be limited and your participation should be maximum so mai aapke samne i just want to say two three things and then i would like to open it up because i am told there number of people who are already prepared uh, to to grill i told you mere 50 saal ho gaye delhi university se pass out karke par principal sahab ne mujhe ye bhi yaad dilaya ki actually we are marking 100 years of the universe so first you are studying in a great university 100 years and even otherwise not just age wise but it is truly one of the uh, fantastic institutions of this country and you should all be very very uh, proud of that the second this year is our year of our g20 presidency and i want to explain to you why that is important and third the modi government we have finished 9 years uh, after every 5 years you know once again you have to get the trust of people so we are close to that moment so in many ways we would like to remind you of what these 9 years have been but let me first start with g20 ab aap logo ne you would have heard lot g20 ke bare mein people would have come on social media on television on newspapers so sometimes people ask me i mean theek hai meeting to ho rahe hain around 200 meetings are taking place so, i mean what is the what is the main point of this g20 i put it to them this way g20 is about getting india ready for the world and the world ready for it and that is very important for all of you because this india which we are getting ready for the world is your india and this world which india is getting ready to go out to and deal more and more is also your world so jo hum abhi g20 pe kar rahe in a way we are laying the foundations of what modi ji has called amrit kal the next 25 years before us and those 25 years are your years so our job is to lay the foundation but our hope is you will build on that foundation and the dream of the country is by 2047 how to make india a developed country this is the dream. now let us start with the g20 you know we are the there are many people i think we are the 18th country to do the presidency of the g20 but we are the only country who have done it in 60 cities of the nation who have done 200 meetings across every state and union territory of this country and why are we doing it we are doing it because we want the world to see the full diversity of india the full richness of india so let me put this to you in a different way ye 200 meeting honge na aap एवरेज में ले लीजिए हर मीटिंग के लिए कम से कम 200-300 लोग तो आएंगे आएंगे कम से कम तो 200 मीटिंग्स 300 पीपल पर मीटिंग नाउ थिंक हाउ मेनी इन्फ्लुएंसर यू हैव इन्फ्लुएंस्ड दीज पीपल विल गो बैक टू देयर कंट्रीज कोई काशी जाएगा कोई कोयम्बतूर जाएगा कोई 
गुवाहाटी जाएगा कोई कुछ लोग श्रीनगर गए थे आपको याद है ना श्रीनगर गए थे हा? तो दीज पीपल वेन दे कम टू इंडिया ओवर दिस फुल ईयर दे विल गो बैक दे विल टॉक अबाउट इंडिया दे विल शेयर देयर एक्सपीरियंसेस दे विल टेल देयर फ्रेंड्स सो वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट बेनिफिट्स वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी इज नॉट नाउ इट विल बी अ बेनिफिट ओवर द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स टेन ईयर्स वेन टूरिज्म इन इंडिया वेन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इंडिया विल रियली ग्रो एंड जस्ट टू टेल यू देर आर कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड बिग कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड उनका जी डी पी का हिस्सा कभी कभी तीस प्रतिशत होता है बिकॉज ऑफ टूरिज्म तो द पावर ऑफ टूरिज्म द इनकम ऑफ टूरिज्म द वैल्यू ऑफ टूरिज्म इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी बिग एंड दैट इज समथिंग वी सी होप टू सी हैव But there is another way by which we are getting India ready for the world, and that India we are getting ready exactly by the things which Sachin Deva Ji spoke about: better infrastructure, faster, cleaner cities, cleaner country actually, better talent, stronger economy. and if all these things happen actually you can already see in the last 9 years how much of an increase there has been in foreign investment in india how today today we are number 1 in foreign investment but that is not where we are satisfied we want this to grow and it can be very much bigger but it can be very much bigger only if we do all the right things in india people will only come if the infrastructure is good people will come when they find talent and education and skill people will come when they see clean cities clean trains clean airports clean villages that is what they will relate the third part is actually what we have done through digital through skill through innovation through education you know i don't want to bore you with numbers kabhi samay hoga to aap एक चीज देख लीजिए एज अ जनरल प्रोपोजिशन इन द लास्ट नाइन ईयर्स अगर आप एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन देखेंगे रफली स्पीकिंग वॉट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड इन द लास्ट नाइन ईयर्स वॉज वॉट वॉज क्रिएटेड इन दिक्सटी ईयर्स बिफोर दैट रफली स्पीकिंग इफ यू लुक एट दी आई आई टीज दी आई आई एम्स द ट्रिपल आई टीज दी कॉलेजेस द मेडिकल द इंजीनियरिंग यू विल सी देर इज अज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन एजुकेशन and that investment in education is happening because as i said the next 25 years are yours and if we do not give you the best education possible india will not become great so that is the purpose the fourth thing which we want to people to see is actually how we have responded to the covid now people normally think of covid as chaliye bach gaye वैक्सीनेशन भी हो गया सो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व बट इट इज मच बिगर देन दैट बिकॉज वेन कोविड हैपन आप लोग प्लीज रिमेंबर 2020, 2020 ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वेन कोविड के नो कंट्री वॉज प्रिपेयर बट वी वेर अमंग द लीस्ट प्रिपेयर एट दैट टाइम बिकॉज हमारे यहाँ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर था ही नाउ इफ यू फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टूडे टू यू लुक एट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री every hospital in this country every hospital you go to the most remote village i am mp from gujarat i have a district where i do my development work aspirational district you know if you go even to the primary health center of that place you can see the big change in three years but there is also the uh, the other things which the world can do the world does not always mean good things the world is also challenging the world you saw can meet mean covid kahin se shuru hua aap sab jante hain kahan se hamare yahan aaya tha and then for next 3 years our whole lives were taken over by by covid so look at today what globalization means globalization can mean opportunity for all of you globalization can mean you can do tourism you may want to do your next degree abroad some of you may even find work abroad all these are opportunities but hame we have to also manage the challenges of globalization 
covid is one terrorism is one and even climate something happens somewhere carbon emission koi aur kar raha glaciers aapke jo hai wo melt ho rahe so these are today the realities with which you live in but what we need from the world is actually a good understanding of india and we want the world to see actually what is the progress which india has made because then your opportunities will be that much more now that is getting the world ready for india let me let me give you the opposite side of it what can indians what difference do we make to the world you know today i travel a lot okay so that is my job and i meet a lot of people and i have a lot of discussions sometimes i even have arguments as you have seen but i see more and more interest in actually indian youth indian talent countries are coming to us today and saying can we do mobility agreements people are coming today saying can we get people for second degree third degree can we uh, today open up pathway because today the world is moving towards a knowledge economy that the this is a world your world is going to be a world actually of artificial intelligence of semiconductor chips of quantum computing the country which has knowledge the country which has technology will be the most powerful country in the world the old way that you measure it by military strength alone even military strength has a different meaning today military strength doesn't necessarily mean guns military strength can mean cyber which is can be more crippling than any military attack the second is that the world today values the responsibility that india has taken you know one big change which modi ji has made in our foreign policy he has prepared us he has changed the system today so that you would have seen operation kaveri in sudan this year operation ganga last year in ukraine in fact from 2014 every year 2014 mein operation neer tha 2015 mein operation rahat in yemen operation maitri in nepal today this country has become ready to respond to global problems we just had operation dost in turkey within 24 hours our forces reached her. and this when when people think of a changing india they look at india's capability today india today was provider of vaccines for 100 countries 100 countries when at least 50 60 of them the rest of the world there were vaccines in other parts of the world they didn't give them so india as a pharmacy of the world india as a responder of the world india as a source of ideas that if you again look at the last few years the big ideas in solar alliance disaster resilience india even as culture i mean if you see the impact today which yoga has made international day of yoga every country there are almost 200 countries in the world even the smallest country today has a yoga celebration on june 21st so the point which i want you to appreciate today it's important for us in india to understand there is a huge interest in the world the world is coming to the country the world is already here there will be challenges like covid and terrorism but there will be big opportunities opportunities of investment opportunities of technology opportunities of tourism similarly we can contribute to the world through all that we have done but how much we can contribute and what an impression we can make on the world actually depends on all of you i would say uh, as someone who spent at least the last 9 years very closely working with modi ji i think what differentiates and what makes him different special from the political leaders i have met i have never met anybody else even outside politics who has as much faith in the country as much faith in the youth of india as he has and that today i mean if people people 
you know, ask sometimes what drives you. I mean, look at, in my own case, you know, I had 40 years in diplomacy. I had a very good job in a very great company. And yet, I left that to join politics. And I left that to join politics because I actually asked myself, this is a chance really to make a difference. This, it is something, you know, one day I would like to tell my grandchildren, that see, I also did something. So, and that chance we have today because we have a leader with a vision, we have somebody with a strong sense of commitment about this country. And if you look at these nine years, uh, the nine years, in fact, are in many ways the foundation and many, you know, there are many things which we began. If you look at Gandhan Yojana, for example, people initially didn't understand why PM Kare Sapko bank account khol do. When COVID happened, we realized the importance of bank account. We realized how Aadhaar has been used. So, uh, let me end on that note. I would, as I said, look forward to listening to all of you. So, I would let me open it up. Any questions? I'm even willing to take any advice, any suggestions. So, le let me stop there. Thank you very much once again for coming in this wonderful day. will help India to become a global power and what will be, what will be the effects on the India emerging as a potential leader for global power and how it will affect the, how, how it will affect the India in your relations and your Thanks sir. Okay, my suggestion, I will take three things so that I can respond to as many people as possible. So let me take two questions. Uh, between 
uh, you can say east and west, uh, there is very uh, sharp uh, differences. But also because after COVID, the Vixil Desh to hai or the Vikas Shil Desh to hai, unke beech mein jo gap jo aaya hai, that is also an equally big problem. And Ukraine is also adding to it because it is creating uh, a fuel problem, it is creating food problem. Uh, so, lot of countries today expect that somebody like India, somebody like Narendra Modi, will take the leadership, will be able to persuade people to uh, compromise and uh, come to the, uh, come to the uh, uh, sort of, I would say, common ground. So, this is for us an immediate problem. But the longer term problem, you have said, global south. We are the first country ever in G20 to consult other people. नहीं तो क्या होता था जिसकी बारी थी वो अपना ही जो करना था वो करते थे। Whereas this time actually Prime Minister said let us consult all so we actually consulted 125 countries। माने सुबह से शाम वे सात for multiple days many ministers did it उसका जो निचोड़ निकाला that Prime Minister said put it in front of G20। तो when I go around the world I just came back from Africa मैं पिछले दो हफ्ते में अफ्रीका में था उसके पहले मैं दो हफ्ते पहले मैं साउथ अमेरिका में पीपल टुडे ट्रस्ट अस वर्ल्ड फील्स अच्छा भाई अटलीस्ट इस दिस प्राइम मिनिस्टर कोविड के समय में उन्होंने मदद की यूक्रेन के समय में उन्होंने आवाज उठाई जी ट्वेंटी के प्लेटफॉर्म में उन्होंने हमारी बात रखी सो दिस इस टुडे अ डिफरेंस वी मेक एंड जो हम कहते हैं ना सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका साथ सबका विकास वो तो अप्लाई इन फॉरेन पॉलिसी और दैट इज़ रियली व्हाट वी आर थैंक्स जो सेकंड जो आपका जो सवाल जो था द ऑपोजिशन यू नो व्हाट वो जैसे नो यू नो यू हैव सीन इन एनी डेमोक्रेसी देर विल बी आर्गुमेंट्स देर विल बी डिफरेंसेस देर the problem happens when one you take it out, okay? You can that is you know it is like घर के अंदर कोई problem हो you do not want to take it out to the street that is one problem. What is the bigger problem is when you take it out and then you invite people from out saying please come and you know actually take part and interfere in what is happening out here. So our invitation भी देना होगा saying you know what is happening in India is of great global concern, so please come and you also have your uh, part in it. That I don't think is good for the country. I mean, I think uh, people can have views, they can have opinions. I have no issues if, you know, if I go out, I will also tell people, bhai, pehle aisa tha, ab ye change aaya hai, India has progress. There's nothing wrong with that. You can even have a view that, achha, is progress mein ye kamiya hai, that's also okay. But if you say, that in India there are you know, big problems, it is a great concern to the world, the world must do something about it. You are now saying something very, very different, which has very big implications. And that is not good for the country. The other question on digital, I am glad you raised it because I didn't refer to it. You know, today when I go out in the world, the number one issue which people raise with me, they don't, foreign policy, that is a different matter. Most of all, they are curious about digital. This is the number one issue. You know, even on uh, COVID, lot of people, lot of countries were very interested in vaccine. They, you know, they benefited. They were very grateful. Ki, aapne banaya, you shared it with us, very good of you. But they were very interested in COVID platform. The, for them, how to get 2.5 billion people to take uh, vaccination without everybody making a rush for it. It was so well organized. If you tell them, you know, they would they would actually not believe you. If you say you got message on the phone, which said, "Aapke bari a gayi hai, you have to go here. This is how you get it done." Because most other countries are not so organized. You know, actually we have done something really fantastic. But even we sometimes take it for granted that if you. Look at the rest of the world. There are countries in the world, vaccines were lying there. They did not have a system of getting it in. 
or there were places where too many people went, there were places where nobody went. So there were states which were vaccinated, there were states which were under vaccine. So I think today the scale of what we are doing digitally, the fact that we are feeding, we are giving money, we are giving houses, we are giving pensions, even, even the Kisan today gets support for his agriculture because of something digital that we have. So I would say looking at the next 20 years, 100% will be digital leaders of the world. Of that I have no doubt and I think in many ways that is really the future that we should be heading for. Next. Okay, we your permission. We take a short break, just a short break. We have amongst us uh, another honorable uh, minister, our guest for today, uh, Minakshi Lakey, madam. Uh, Ms. Minakshi Lakey is a columnist, a lawyer. She has been part of the Public Undertaking Committee and Parliamentary Privileges Committee in the capacity of a chairwoman. Uh, currently, she holds uh, a position of Minister of State for External Affairs and Culture. We welcome you to the house, sir, uh, ma'am. And on this same note, I request our uh, Principal Professor Manoj Sinha to please felicitate our guests. You have come after a long time to the college. She's our local MP also, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Introduction and Baki Sab Kegai, not that she's the local MP. <laughs> we are all very aware that. She helps <laughs> us you. in many ways. Uh, we've received her uh, many times, so she, this is home to her. So welcoming you, ma'am, to the, to the house again. Um, on that note, we'll resume the question answer session. Can I identify the volunteer? Can, can I? Can, okay. So we have uh, volunteers with the questions already. Uh, yeah. Good afternoon, sir. So I'm Sahaj from the Department of Economics. So my question mainly pertains to the recent signing of the political agreement between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Islamic Republic of Iran uh, in Beijing. So it means that it was obviously brokered by the People's Republic of China. So do you think that in the recent years there has been, you know, a shift in standpoints with the uh, Saudi bloc led GCC, you know, uh, uh, deviating and you know getting dissent from the West. And uh, do you think that India can robustly counter and how will it counter uh, China's influence in the region? Next. What are the main aspects that India is doing better than its rival in international market besides the three major economic uh, global shocks, which were the pandemic, the Russia-Ukraine war, and the US dollar appreciation, which we know widened capital about deficits of net importing countries like India. Good afternoon, sir. I am Ronald. I am a student here at Harvard and an utter volunteer of the NSS. Uh, my question to you is that China came up with a strategy of strength of pearl and to counter that India came up with a strategy of uh, necklace of diamond land. So what do you think that does India need more stronger allies of the land as well to make a military base or a stronger point for the military aspects? Uh, okay. Uh, the uh, first question, the Saudi-Iran uh, question. See, actually, you know, we keep saying the world is changing, but these are all expressions, signs of how the world is changing. And many independent changes are taking place. For example, China's rise has been happening over many decades. It is independent of what was happening in the Middle East, but sometimes big changes can come together. So, uh, my own sense is, you know, rather than get worried ki why that person has done this or this is a source of concern for us, we should focus on what we can do, okay? And what have we done? If you look actually at the last 10 years, if there is any region where Indian influence and Indian contacts and Indian uh, connections have grown, it is actually in the Gulf. 
and it has been led directly by the Prime Minister. So, you, you know, the old days, people had a perception here that somehow the uh, mindset in the Gulf was against us. Now, he has shown today that actually some of the strongest supporters that we have, some of the closest friends we have, are actually in the Gulf. So, I feel the response to this, rather than say, you know, uh, I'm very worried what some country has done, I would be more focused, how do I do more? And I think that's exactly what we are trying to do. <coughs> and the signs of it, you can already see, we have done an FTA with free trade agreement with UAE, which has boosted trade. There is one under negotiation with the Gulf. Uh, our relationship with countries like Saudi Arabia, in fact, if you look today, uh, almost 80 lakh Indians, 80 lakh Indians live and work in the Gulf. You know, there are more Indians in UAE than there are in UK, or almost the same. So, we should, I think, make a push, we should be confident of ourselves, we should try to grow our relationship, and that's the way of, you know, looking after our interests. Your second, quest, second question, okay, you have pandemic, you have COVID, you have US, so how do you uh, respond to that? See, the, you know, what is happening, world will always have challenges, the bigger will become, the bigger the challenges will be. We are, if we are the most populous country, we may be the fifth largest economy, we will be third very soon. But there are other parts of the change, you know, one change which again we discovered only when COVID happened, that today there are actually two crore, of, I'll say 1.7 crore Indians, Indian nationals who live and work abroad, about the same number who are actually citizens, people of Indian origin who are citizens of other countries. So, if you have three and a half crore people for whom you have some responsibility, obviously you are citizens much more, then that is itself is a very big change which is happening. So we have, you know, when I said I refer to the operations which Prime Minister has reformed our system to deliver, we have to prepare today for things not working out well in the world. You know, we cannot only prepare for the nice days. We have to prepare for the difficult days. The real challenge of leadership is how do you respond when something really tough happens. And that is really the change today uh, which we are trying to do. It could be in our diplomacy, it could be in our military, it could be in our business. Uh, so that is one. Then the state military, the strategic question, you know, how do you respond to other countries having basis program, etc. Look, India will also grow, our influence will increase, uh, we will have more partners, but it will happen stage by stage, it will happen in your generation for sure. I mean, uh, I'm very confident that the India, even I would say five years from now, ten years from now, will be in a very different place. I mean, if you look at the last ten years, you look at how much our influence has grown, it will be even faster with the passage of time. How exactly we will do it? Every country has its own way. You know, we don't have to copy somebody else, particularly if that somebody else is very different. Uh, I think we can, we can take one, one more round. One, one more round. Uh, one more round. Three questions. Now. Three questions. We'll uh, do the last round of questions. Three questions to go. Hello. Hello. Sir, my name is Jabba. Sir, Sir, I would like to ask, like we are nowadays multi-aligned with the world. Like we are a member of SCO, we are a member of Quad. Like we are currently the president of G20. So like how it will benefit India to gain a permanent member seat in UN Security Council and how long it will take to India gain this. I am from Lavan Anand College. Sir, uh, first of all, I would like to 
tell you that I am a big fan of Indian foreign policy and its policy makers. But the criticism is equally important. And self-criticism is the best way to improve ourselves. So sir, what in your view, one thing we went wrong in these nine years in terms of foreign policy or what we could have done it differently that would have benefited us more? I, first of all, I must tell you, this is probably the most difficult question anybody has asked me in a long time. <laughs> because it is a question which requires a lot of thinking, you know, that what could we have done wrong. So let me start with the young lady there, Rashad Chanawala. See, what has essentially happened is, because of this Ukraine uh, conflict, Russia's normal dealings with the Western countries has come down. Okay? Not stop, but come down very much. So what does a country do? It looks for alternatives. So Russia has started now looking for more alternatives in other parts of the world. And the strongest economic part of the world is Asia. So if you look at Russian trade in the last one year, the same, a lot of, you know, because they are a big resource exporter. Lot of the resources uh, which uh, would have uh, gone otherwise to the West are now coming into uh, Asia. Obviously, China, as the second biggest economy of the world, is taking, uh, you know, full advantage. But if you look at India's trade-offs, you know, our trade with Russia uh, in the last one year has gone up almost four times. So, and it isn't only oil, you know, there, there are other things also. So, my sense is you are actually going to get a big change, not only in politics, but also in the global economy, that you will have a big resource producer actually look not that way, but this way, and push more things uh, towards East. But I can only tell you this, you know, to do this, you need a lot of uh, political courage. You need... You know, you need to stand your ground because there are always pressures on us. And again, you know, I would say, if you look at the last one year, uh, he asked about self-criticism. If you ask me one of the things, I look back and say, did we do the right thing or not? This was one very good decision we made, where very, very early on, Prime Minister said, look, the interests of the country and interests of the Indian consumer must come first. He please always keep that. Uh, in mind. The second question, multi-alignment. See, multi-alignment, it's like this. You have many friends, okay? All your friends are not friends with each other. You know, some of them are friends, some of them are not friends. Huh? But for you, if all your, you are able to keep good relations with all your friends, your life is so much better. So, you do this in the hostel, I do this in the international states. I mean, that, that is, uh, but, does it, does it uh, get uh, the, how does it help us in the UN? I have the same hostel problem which you may be having. Everybody in the floor, all my fellow students are okay with me, but the warden is not okay with me. Huh? So I have five wardens out there who are already members of the security council. So if they, the warden, some of the wardens also have to agree that they like me and they want me. In. So. This is today our problem. Today, frankly speaking, if we put it to vote, because, you know, in UN, there are many bodies, every few weeks there is an election. If you read about which country wins which election by how many votes, you will always see India up there. So I can tell you today, if it was a really democratic world, if we were allowed to stand for election, I have no doubt what the result would be. Which is why today some people are not allowing it to happen. Uh, your difficult uh, question. You know, what what could we have done differently uh, in the uh, last uh, nine years? You know, it's hard to uh, it's hard to pinpoint one single decision. I I think what happens sometimes is you want to do something and who can he focus only, you know, it, it's not exactly uh, where you want it to go. Uh, 
perhaps the one where I feel, you know, we should have uh, not got so this, you know, in between, we could have been very, very focused and this is really self-criticism because this is the time when I was foreign secretary. See, the biggest change which has happened is in our neighborhood. Now, if you go, you know, for many years, if you go to our neighborhood, because that is the closest places, people have very mixed feelings about India, okay? You know, they would say nice things, but they would say something else. Today, if you see what is the big change, the big change has been, you go to Sri Lanka, you go to Bangladesh, you go to Bhutan, to Nepal, that sense today that look, if there is one country which will stand with us, that is it. And it happened because uh, of COVID, when medicine, food, etc. It happened to Sri Lanka when they had economic problems. Today, in fact, many countries had petrol problems after Ukraine started. So, you know, uh, not everybody uh, is familiar with it. But today, there are uh, fuel pipelines from India to Bangladesh and India to Nepal. So the price of fuel in many countries has come down. So I think the kind of, uh, uh, I would say, uh, uh, vision and commitment which the Prime Minister did from his first day, saying change the region. I feel in between, you know, various problems happen and we should have kept at it continually strongly, which we are doing today. Uh, I would say more than self-criticism, I would say there is room for improvement. So my way of dealing with it is therefore do more now. Yeah. But it is a question, maybe I'll also think about it and if I come up with a better answer, I will tweet sometime in the middle of the night. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. On that note, I would like to invite our principal professor, Dr. 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 to please take the program forward. Allow me, uh, Minister Sir, to present 10 of my best students who have performed well this year to you and allow them to have a photograph with you, sir. That's the only thing you want. Thank you. Sure. Well, thank you. Congratulations, all of you. And uh, if any of you think of interning in MEA, uh, do do give it a shot. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ma'am, uh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, today, अभी हमारे प्रोटोकॉल में लोकल जो हम लोग ऑर्गेनाइजर्स हैं उसमें पीडिया बॉस हमारी तरफ से एक मिनिस्टर ही हैं गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की लेकिन हमारी एमपी भी हैं और मिनाक्षी जी समय समय पर हम लोगों के यहाँ आकर छोटे बड़े सभी कार्यक्रम में भाग भी लेती हैं हमारी मदद भी लेती हैं और आपने जो मदद की थी कई बार आपको याद नहीं रहता होगा आपको बहुत सारे काम करते हैं वो सामने जो बिल्डिंग बन रही है आपको याद होगा डीडीए में हमारे जो पास होना था तो आपने बहुत मदद की थी बहुत धन्यवाद देखिए वो तैयार है और डीडी वहाँ पर तो आज जो वो लोग थैंक्स देने का अधिकार है वो उनके पद होने के बावजूद उनका है इसलिए आपसे आग्रह करता हूँ मैम की आप आए
Thank you very much, Vanessa. Minister, Dr. Jay Shankar, Sri Raja Chopra Ji, Sri Vrindar Sashteva Ji, Sri Sanjeev Chaurasya Ji, Prashant Sharma Ji, Upasthi Sabhi faculty members, and especially Amrit Kaal Me, College Me, Pandey Wale, Hamare Jitne Chhatra Hai, Jitne Students Hai. Thank you very much to all the students for being present here in such great numbers from both Ramlal Anand College and Aryabhat College. Thank you the members of faculty and considering me as part of the organizing team gives me a huge, huge, huge honor that we are all connected, we all work together and feel like a team. And I specifically want to thank uh, Professor Sinha because many a times you do so many things, people don't remember you for all that you do. But when somebody reminds you that you did this also, it's a, it's a great feeling because it's a, it's a sense of commitment and it's also a, a sense of contentment with which one, one is present here. Uh, breaking the protocol because the list has already spoken, uh, I want to thank everyone. But I also want to say a couple of comments. One comment is we all understand uh, this has been a Herculean task. We all relate to the word Herculean task. Many of us probably do not relate to the word uh, Bhagirat Prayas. So, this is Bhagirat Prayas that the government has done in 2014 to 2023. The journey was a very big journey. And the journey of that journey is in your midst. It is in your midst. आप सब छात्रों से, I mean I have a very small question to ask and that question is, how many of you know that India was performing worse than the sub-Saharan economy? How many of you know that? So for the first time in the history, from 1960 till now, this is the first time India has started performing little better than sub-Saharan economy. Now this fact you all must know as students of various subjects and I'm sure you are the torch bearers of the future. You must also understand that we only had about 18% uh, of the global average and from that we came down from 61 downwards slide which reached us to about 6% of the global average and 1991 made which a lot of people give credit to uh, Dr. Balmohan Singh, but the truth is he was only so ekhatar se Bharat Sarkar ka hissa the. He was an advisor to the then Prime Minister, part of the Economic Advisory Council from 71 onwards. In fact, he controlled most of the things. On 91 May, Jawar Pakistan ka hal hai, usse bata hal hamara tha, jiski wajah se IMF had placed conditions on us ki ye ye badlaab karo, gold gateway rakho. तब आपको पैसे मिलेंगे और उसके बाद से जब प्रधानमंत्री जी कहते हैं कि मैं तो अभी तक गड्ढे ही भर रहा हूँ तो अब आकर हम 1960 के लेवल पर पहुँचे वे भी बिकम 18 परसेंट ऑफ़ द ग्लोबल एवरेज सो दैट इज़ द रियल स्टोरी ऑफ़ द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी एंड इंडियन इकोनॉमी आई बस से फ्रॉम प्रेजाइल फाइव टू मेक but for the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister, rest of us are only doing the pillar's job. But it's the command which we all follow. And that command is the one which is taking India forward, taking the economy forward, making things happen, bringing people on board from 442 startups to making it 92,600 plus startups has been quite a change. From having few uh, village panchayats being connected to internet to have more than 1.92 lakh villages being connected to internet to have uh, 108 unicorns has been quite a task. And all this with double the number of universities, double the seats of IAM, AIMS, so on and so forth, just goes to show that Amrit Khan ki generation hai. Your generation, which is in the colleges, is responsible for taking the country forward. My best wishes to all of you and thank you all for that commitment which you have showcased 
by your presence here today. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Jenny. Thank you so much for your encouraging words, ma'am. We will... Uh... Okay, thank you, everyone. So, ma'am...